Yeah. What do you like about Spark and Echo as a whole? I mean, uh, unrelated to your specific genre, but what do you, what do you like about it as a organization? It is the only thing I know of within Protestantism actively and regularly commissioning arts. Um, there are things that, that, you know, people might raise money for a film, but it's like a really glorified small group resource, um, which is fine. That's a thing, but that's a, um, there are, You know, there are there are churches that I mean, I mean maybe that's an exaggeration. I mean, there there are places that commission arts. I certainly have you know like maybe half a dozen colleagues in the city um, that do that, but they tend to be very on a project by project basis. This seems to be more like on an organizational level, steady. As our organization, you know, it's a nonprofit, and to be able to give multiple commissions, we have to raise money. And that's kind of what we're doing at the moment with the Be Part of the Art campaign. Yeah. And from your perspective, you know, someone watching this interview, what's a good reason to give to Spark and Echo? If you want to have a gospel embodied in the world, you have to put flesh on it. Yeah. And so I would say, like, what better way to do that than to, like, throw money at a project that's taking the Bible and putting it into paint, poetry, like all of these sorts of things, especially when we're getting ready to live in a world where like the majority of the stuff is like visually at least is made by non thinking computer chips, you know, <laughs> exactly. Now I'm saying that as someone who's, you know, used a couple of those for header images and backed away from that. Yeah. But like the majority of the piece, even that was based on is all, yeah. you know, my own work. So, you know, I, I admit the inherent irony in that. Um, but the irony is there in the piece to begin with. I'll ask two questions. What do you hope for yourself? What do you hope to accomplish? What do you hope your work does in the world? And then what's a hope for Spark and Echo with you? Like, what do you hope we can do or achieve? I hope for my own work that... I can give people the experience someday <clears throat> before I die that Fyodor Dostoevsky gave me with the Brothers Karamazov. Um, it is a remarkable book to read the year your father dies and the year your firstborn son is born. Wow. I wept for about 20 minutes straight after finishing it. I've never had the reaction to any other work of art in any medium. And for Spark and Echo, I would hope that you guys could do another two or 10 laps of the scripture, that you would have enough resources that you would be able to return to passages that were dealt with in bulk and start dealing on an even more granular level and even recommission texts you've already commissioned so that yeah. you have multiple, um, multiple riffs on the same passage. That'd be my hope for you. Uh, yeah. And eventually, as I've told Rebecca, <laughs> Multiple times, I'm probably annoying her with it. You know, I would love to to edit a print version of it um, that includes links to, you know, things that you can't listen to in a text like, you know, video, audio, but that yeah. generally is actually something you can hold in your hand. Right. Um, but you need a lot more <laughs> passages for that. So. We do. Yeah. Multiple takes on the same passage. I would love that indeed. <laughs>